Hello everyone, this is the Astrogi Comics where I talk about astronomy and space science through my fondness for art. If you would enjoy sci art comics based on astronomy and space sciences, you can follow me on Instagram. My handle is at the rate the Astrogi Comics. This is the first series of my channel and is called Astronomical Spectroscopy. After watching all the five videos of this series, you shall have a fair understanding of spectrums and spectroscopy and how the study of light waves from around the universe helps astronomers uncover its secrets. In the first video of the series, we will talk about waves and spectrums and understand some of their properties. What is a wave? In simple words, a wave is a periodic movement or disturbance that keeps repeating after regular intervals of time. Ideally, in absence of anything to stop or reduce this movement, it shall go on forever. When we draw a wave on the graph, the horizontal x represents a parameter like time, with respect to which the parameter on the vertical y-axis like change in location keeps oscillating or goes to and fro. This can be the vibration of a particle, which vibrates about its mean position, a little left and a little right. It can also be the movement of the bob of the pendulum to and fro about the rest position. In case of lights, it is the periodic change in the intensity of electric and magnetic fields that make up the light. Sound travels in the form of waves too. When someone speaks, their vocal cords vibrate, which creates a disturbance in the surrounding air. This disturbance is the vibration of atoms and molecules in the air. The atoms vibrating uh, transfer the energy to the surrounding particles, which pass it to the next and so on. And the vibration of sound travels from the speaker to the listener. In a bigger picture, the, this transfer of sound can be seen as rarefactions and compressions, which occur when particles vibrate in the direction of motion of waves. These kinds of waves are called longitudinal waves. This disturbance can be shown in a graph as a sine wave with rarefactions shown as crests and compressions shown as troughs. Study by Maxwell and others based on the four Maxwell equations revealed that visible light is an electromagnetic wave or EM radiation. The wave nature of light was known through experiments that involved interference and diffraction, where the two light waves interact to form patterns of alternate bright and dark bands. Maxwell established that this wave consisted of oscillating magnetic and electrical fields, which are mutually perpendicular to each other and also to the direction of motion of the wave. So if the wave is moving in the direction of the positive x-axis, the z-axis shows the oscillating electric field, while the magnetic field is along the y-axis. Such radiations in which the vibration is perpendicular to the direction of wave motion are called transverse waves. When we normally represent the light wave, we only draw the electrical part, while the magnetic field is implied. The magnetic and electric fields are related to each other through Maxwell's equations. A wave has various parameters attached to it. Amplitude of the wave is the maximum disturbance on either side of the mean position. Amplitude is related to the intensity of the wave, which increases with the square of amplitude. Wavelength of a wave is the distance between two consecutive throws or crests. The time period of the wave is the time taken by it to complete one full oscillation or one wave and a crest and return to the mean point. The frequency of the wave is the number of full cycles, that is a crest and a throw, that pass through a point in one second. It is the reciprocal of time period. The speed of the wave is the product of its wavelength and its frequency. For all electromagnetic radiations, including light, the speed in vacuum is a constant called c. The value of c is 3 lakh kilometers per second. Nothing can travel faster than the speed of light in a vacuum. So for an electromagnetic wave to keep the constant whenever the wavelength decreases, frequency increases. In 1672, Newton released a landmark paper in which he mentioned his observations of the spectrum. While many had observed a rainbow in the sky, it was Newton who showed that white light, when passes through a prism, gets separated into a band of continuous colors called the spectrum. The seven colors present in the spectrum of white light are Vibgyor or violet, 
indigo blue green yellow orange and red it means that white light itself isn't a color but a collection of colors or radiation each color has a unique wavelength which increases from violet end of the spectrum to the red end a light of a single frequency like blue green or red is called a monochromatic meaning single color light white light isn't monochromatic a prism has two triangular faces and three rectangular faces and is made of a transparent optically denser medium than air when white light travels from one transparent medium to another transparent medium which is of a different optical density which means lower or higher refractive index the light rays bend the bending of light also called refraction happens due to the change of speed of light in the two mediums this change of speed is different for different frequencies and hence the bending of different component colors is by different amounts which results in separation of white light into spectrum as white light passes through one face of the prism and comes out of the other it gets refracted twice the amount of bending is measured by a value called deviation red light is deviated less than violet light similarly white light from the sun passing through water droplets which act like prisms get separated into the spectrum which collectively is seen as the rainbow this solved another mystery of why things look of a particular color a red pen has the chemical makeup that will absorb all the radiations of the white light from the sun and not absorb the red color this red color wavelength light is bounced or reflected by the object in all directions and when this bounce of light enters our eye the sensory cells in the retina perceive it as red color is just our sensory response to the wavelengths of the visible spectrum our eyes are sensitive to the visible spectrum has violet on one end and red on the other the wavelength of violet light is 380 nanometers and that of red is around 750 nanometers We know that wavelength into frequency is the speed of light. So we can calculate the frequency of this range as violet having around 668 terahertz and red having around 484 terahertz. The energy of radiation depends on its frequency and increases with frequency. The inverse relation between frequency and wavelength here is clear. Later experiments by William Herschel to measure energy content of different color radiation led to the discovery of an unknown new radiation just beyond the red spectrum named infrared radiation because of its lower frequency with respect to red. We realize that visible spectrum is a very small part of the whole spectrum of radiations most of which is invisible to us. Later experiments led to discovery of ultraviolet light x-rays and gamma rays with energies higher than blue and microwaves and radio waves with energies lesser than red different processes of nature release energies in different radiations your body heat is measured in infrared clouds of gas and dust in the stellar space release radio waves the big bang left a signature radiation which has cooled down to the microwave range High energy stars release ultraviolet radiation while pulsars and magnetars emit high energy x-rays and gamma rays. These invisible radiations along with the visible radiation hold secrets that are waiting to be known. Light is the only source of information for astronomers traveling at the highest speed possible to reach our telescopes and be detected. The discovery of spectrum by Newton was followed by Fraunhofer who found that spectrum are not always the same or in fact continuous and can be used to discover materials in the sun and other celestial bodies thus began the science of spectroscopy the study of the spectra of light from various sources to learn about the physical and chemical properties in the next series of videos we shall learn how spectra can help us discover elements in stars discover exoplanets know the motion of galaxies study binary stars and a lot more many wonders of the universe thank you for watching this video and please do not forget to like the video and follow the ashogi comics by clicking on the subscribe button below if you want to be notified when i release the next video you may also click on the bell icon 
in case of suggestions for future videos and series or your thoughts on this one you can comment below i would love to read them remember you are the real mvps whose support keeps me motivated to make more educational videos on astronomy and space science until next time stay curious and keep looking up